would like to buy FIFA 16 or any other games, visit G2A for cheaper prices. Link will be in the description. Hello and welcome to the second part of the tutorial. Today we'll be learning how to edit head models in Blender. Head to the top right side of the screen with your mouse and click on the eye icon of the hair model to hide the hair model. Press N on your keyboard to open the window, which will allow you to select the picture of your choice, preferably a high quality image of the player you have decided to attempt. Tick the box Background Images, Add Image, select the Open option, find that image you are looking for, and click on the Open Image button. Scroll down and change the mode from back to front, and position the coordinates of the picture according to the head model, using the available scaling options. Now we enter perhaps the most entertaining part of face making, sculpting and aligning the head model to match the shape of the picture used. Switch from object mode to sculpt mode. Whilst editing in sculpt mode, left click and drag to adjust the radius of the grab tool. This will in turn increase or reduce the area of the head model you are grabbing. Adjust the opacity of the image to be able to see what it is you are editing underneath the picture. Next to where you changed modes, click on the white sphere which tells you that you are in solid mode and select the checkered sphere to view the face texture. It is helpful to constantly go back and forth between solid mode and the face texture to make sure every part of the head model matches that of the picture.
Change from the grab tool to the smooth tool by pressing S. This will be useful to iron out all the rough edges of the model that are created whilst editing. Switch between both tools to achieve the polished look that is synonymous with EA models. Once you are satisfied with the model, click on the eye icon to view the eyes. An effective method to adjust the eyes is by changing from sculpt mode to edit mode. Make sure to select the eyes model. Right click on any vertex, hold control and using the left click on your mouse, circle around the eye selecting all vertices. Use the arrows to move the selected vertices either up, down, left, right or backwards and forwards until you are satisfied with the positioning of both eyes.